Happy Saturday, y'all. I just wanted to pop on here and bring you, bring you a developing story that is coming out of Utah that's local to me that I figured some of you might be interested in following. Yesterday morning around 9.45 a.m., Jeremy Stevens had called Layton Police Department to report that after a brief argument with his wife, he had shot and killed his wife and her visiting parents. Upon arrival to the home, police located the body of Anastasia Stevens, 36 years old, and wife of Jeremy Stevens, along with Becky Stevens, who was her stepmother, and her father, Donald Stevens. All three bodies were found in the home with what appears to be gunshot wounds. At the current time, there has not been a weapon that was located at the last update. Along with the three individuals that were found deceased, they also found three deceased family dogs. Authorities have also mentioned that at 9.43 a.m., two minutes before the 911 call was placed, a social media post was made highlighting that these three individuals would be found deceased inside the home. Authorities have not named the author of the post at this point in time. However, it was made on Anastasia's page and Jeremy was tagged in the post. Friends and family, unfortunately, some of them did learn about this horrific crime through social media. Friends and family are taken to social media with their outcries of horror over this tragedy. Developing situation at a home in Layton. Three people found dead with one person in custody. Police are calling this a triple homicide. We do have team coverage for you tonight. Both news specialist Shelby Lofton and Mike Anderson are live on scene for us. Let's start things off with Shelby, who has the latest developments here from police. Shelby, what do you know? Mike and Ashley, we are here on Gentile Street in Layton, and right behind me in this home with the flag is where three people and three dogs were found dead this morning. The man suspected of killing them, 34-year-old Jeremy Bailey, turned himself into police. Investigators say he killed his wife, her stepmother, and her father. Now, police tell us this all started with a brief argument this morning. Investigators say Bailey told them he and his 36-year-old wife, Anastasia Stevens, did have a fight, but over what we don't know. Police don't think the couple had children. Her parents, 61-year-old Becky Stevens and 73-year-old Donald Stevens, were visiting from Nevada. Police don't know who of the three victims were killed first and where their bodies were found inside this house. Now, crews are still processing this scene right now. They have not yet found the murder weapon. Lieutenant Travis Lyman told us they think the cause of death was gunshots, but cannot say for sure at this point. The suspect told police he killed three of the family dogs. They were found dead on the property, too. We've been given some information that they may have been planning to stay the summer here at this house. They usually have an RV that they travel in, but that's been put in long-term storage. And we think that that may have been the plan was that they were gonna stay here for the summer. That was Lieutenant Travis Lyman talking about Anastasia, Anastasia Stevens' parents. Uh, that's the information we know about them so far. Police said they're still talking to the suspect, Jeremy Bailey, but have really not gotten any more information from him. As of the last update we got about an hour ago, he was still being held at the police department. Now we're keeping track of this story throughout the night. So coming up on KSL 5 News at 10, we'll keep you any updated with any information we know about this family, their story, and what happened here this morning. Unfortunately, many of the friends and family learned through social media postings of this horrific tragedy. Anastasia's parents are stated to have been here in the area staying with the couple over the summer to try and help them through marital issues that they had been having. A brief glance over the couple's social media history, you can find many posts that allude to problems that they were having with their marriage, even going back to 2018, such as the post above, which we will get into further this coming week. Looking through Jeremy's social media account, you can find that he was enlisted in the United States Navy at one point in time, I think exiting around 2012. We will get more into that next week. His social media postings are very interesting.
This is a developing story, but right now, friends and family members of the victims are left trying to piece together what happened, what went wrong. Jeremy has been in custody since the event, and investigators are continuing to find answers. I will keep you updated.